They say it's throw and go, right? All right, well, let's give it a shot. Hey, I know you want to see how this ends, but before we get there, we've got some other ground to cover. Let's get to it. I've been keeping an eye on the Bora Centipede Workbench recently because it's one of those tools that I think can be a game changer for a lot of us DIYers who do not have a dedicated workspace within our home. As a result, we have to take things outside. But we also need something that we can very easily store when we're not using it. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the Bora Centipede and some lessons that I learned with it that you should be aware of too before you purchase one. The Centipede Workbench comes in various different sizes. They make a four foot by two foot version, a four by six, and a four foot by eight foot version. Now I bought the four by six to save a little bit of cash, although ideally I did want to get the four by eight, but there's a couple of things to know about it size wise. Coming out of the box, and by the way, if you have a good link that you can send to help me understand how to open boxes, I would appreciate it. Apparently I forgot how to do that. But coming out of the box, it has a good size. Now the tool itself only weighs 26 pounds. So if you can lift 26 pounds, it is very versatile and easy to move around. Not a problem. At least that's how much the four by six weighs. Additionally, when it is folded, it is approximately 38 inches tall, 11 inches wide, and nine inches deep. These dimensions are important to remember. We'll get to that here in a few. But the point is, it's easy to maneuver and very easy to store in its nice bag that comes with it. I don't weigh anything close to what Bora advertises as far as how much weight this table can handle. They say it's 4,500 pounds is the max, but I decided to do my high tech test of how stable it was with what weight I have, which is less than 200 pounds. But the point is, I found it very stable. I did not find any issues with it, feeling like it was gonna tip over, fall apart or anything. It does feel like it's a very sturdy table. On the top of each of the struts on the workbench, there are what they call these P-tops. They're made out of a, a polymer. They're a patented material that Bora has come up with. However, the point is they're made to protect the surface of what you're working on, which I really didn't get a chance to test, but also to protect the struts themselves from things like saw blades, which is a good thing to have. Now my model came with four clamps that work actually very well. I've found that when you push down on the top, if you have a piece of plywood that's bowed a little bit. It actually pulls it down to the top of that P-top on top of the strut. So they work pretty well. They also came with four X cups and the X cups are shaped to hold a two by four perfectly. So if you want to put a two by four across the struts to do cutting or other work that you want to do, you can do that very easily. I found that it fits perfectly. I only have four, so I really didn't have a chance to do anything crazy with it, but you can purchase more accessories from Bora. Now, before you pull the trigger on that purchase, make sure you hang out because there are a few details that I have learned about this workbench that you will want to know before you make your purchase. But before we get there, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button. And also, if you're finding this video helpful so far, give it a like and share it as well. Now, let's get on to those facts that you need to know. Now, I purchased the Centipede workbench that was labeled as four foot by six foot. When I did my measurements, it actually ended up being a little bit different. I found that it was four feet, one and a half, almost two inches wide, and it was six feet, one and a half inches long. So you do have a little bit of extra space on the top of the workbench. That's good to know. Also, they advertise that the workbench is 30 inches tall, and it is exactly that, 30 inches tall, which I found to be a very good height for myself. I'm 5'11 and 3 quarters, almost six feet, not quite there, but it was a good height for me as I was cutting the plywood on the workbench. And now for the last three things that you'll wanna know. First, you open it by grabbing the top of the two P-tops in the middle and expanding it out but I bet you're wondering how the good old throw and go ended up. Well, here you go. <laughs> that was pretty ugly. And that was a little bit more clean, but not so great. <laughs> Attempt number three has to be better. There you go. It really is throw and go. And to close it, you just grab the two P-tops in the middle and pull them together. Now, before we get to the last interesting detail that you do want to know regarding the portability of this workbench, the question comes, is it worth the price? 
Now at the time of the recording of this video, the four by six foot version that I purchased was $160 and some change. Is it worth that spend? To be honest, I wish I had sprung for the additional 30 bucks to get the four by eight foot version that I really did want to purchase. I've found that this has been an incredibly versatile workbench so far, very easy to store, and very easy to move around. And now for the final detail, which I learned the very dumb way. When you put your workbench in its bag, it only goes in one way, people. It's not the shape of a square. The top of it, when it's folded, is shaped like a rectangle. So make sure you get it in the bag the right way. <laughs> Until the next time, keep doing it yourself.